I've never heard any any such threats, um, and I I do believe that Governor Otter was um, had a, some of the issues minced up in his comments there. There are two issues. There's the exchange issue and the Medicaid program. Um, there's nothing in this law, I've never seen any threats that says if you don't uh, build an exchange we're gonna we're gonna make um, changes to your Medicaid program. There's nothing in the law that says that. Um, in fact it says if you don't build your own what they call state-based exchange, fine, that's okay, that's fine, we'll just come in and we'll do it all for you. That's what's written into the law. On the Medicaid side, however, and this is where I think there might have been a little bit of confusion, that if we don't bring our Medicaid eligibility programs up to the requirements that are in here, then yes, our, our Medicaid programs may be placed at risk, but um, that's a big may because that he was referring to the federal match rate and the federal match rate is based on a couple of factors one is the income uh, the personal level of personal income in each state and it's also based on the rural parts of the state how much of your state is rural so those, it's like a formula that the federal government, that's how they calculate our match rate. We have a higher match rate because our personal income levels are lower and we are a hugely rural state. So that's what that match rate is based on. Um, I, I, it, it, we, we, we could be putting our Medicaid programs at some risk if we don't meet these requirements, but um, I'm, st I'm still, I think that is, still remains to, to be seen on what that might be.